Hey everybody, Professor Cynical back again with another glitch video. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you where to get and use salvage data and also all of the best methods to duplicate it. Alright, let's get into today's video. Alright, so in order to find Quicksilver guys, we need to be on a planet. Now what you need to do is pull up your visor and we're looking for buried technology module. Once you find that, let's make our way over to there. So you are going to need to do a little bit of digging, but nothing too crazy. So once we get over to the buried module itself, just double check again with your visor. If you're not too sure, you can also select it so then it stays without having to keep your visor open. So once we start to mine it, it will look like this, you know, beams like going out everywhere, technology module, and then you open it. So each time you will get anywhere between one and four salvage data. So I was lucky I got four salvage data. As you can see, it's currently within my inventory. All right. So now what we need to do is call in our ship or you can run back if you got your ship nearby. All right. So once you've jumped in your ship, we're now going to fly off into space. And once we are in space, we're going to call in the anomaly. All right, so once you've called in the anomaly, we're going to fly into it. Now, once you fly into it, we're just going to land anywhere. That's absolutely fine. Now, we are going to do the next steps, and we're going to duplicate what we've got. However, if you're not into duplication, I completely understand that not everybody wants to duplicate in the game. However, if you just follow the beginning steps and go around the planet and dig up modules as you go along, then you can find more and more and more that way. But for this purpose of the video, we are going to duplicate. So what we're going to do, first of all, is put our salvage data, like I've done there, in our personal refiner. Now, watch out, because it can start refining automatically into Nanite. So just be careful of that, because that, that can catch off guard if you're not too quick. So we put it in, we jump in, jump out of our ship, and then we take the actual modules back out and put them into our main inventory. That makes sense. So what we're going to do, is we're going to find somebody now and pass over an item. Now, it can be any item that you want. Try and give a good item if you got it, just for courtesy. You don't absolutely have to, but I always like to do it for courtesy because you're using somebody to duplicate, so why not? So, if you can't get someone around the Nexus part, which is the middle section, run towards the back here. If you run towards the back, there are always people at the back, and then just select somebody, give over an item. Now, make sure it says sent. In my case, I just sent a, a small stack there, and now once it says sent, reload, you raw or save. So this will now put us back next to our ship in the Nexus. Well, in the Anomaly slash Nexus. So once we are there, guys, what we are going to go ahead and do is open up our inventory now. So if we open up our inventory now that I'm back in, exosuit, so you can see that I've got the salvage data is still in the exhaust suit. And look at that, the personal fire as well. Thus, it's been duplicated to twice. Now, you can keep repeating this as many times as you want. So, this very first glitch, there is another glitch I'm going to show you in just a second to make it go a little bit quicker. But what we're going to do is very, very quickly, the way that you spend these salvage data, if you're not, if you're not too sure, you can go to any one of these shops here in the back room of the anomaly. And this is where you could unlock all your construction equipment, all your decorative modules, all your ship improvements, exocraft improvements, you name it. It can be bought here for the salvage data. And nanites as well. Um, so if you're short on nanites, you can refine the salvage data to get you some quick nanites in order then to go and unlock more stuff, if that makes sense. So salvage data is one of those items that is really good to have because it's so, so, so useful especially when you are first playing and you need to get everything unlocked. All right, so the next trick I'm going to show you, the next duplication method I'm going to show you is we are going to quickly go over to my freighter. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm on my freighter and I've got a good, tasty amount of salvage data. So we're going to take some of my stack and we're going to go ahead and duplicate it, but we're going to be using the Exocraft to do this duplication. Now, a lot of people already know this duplication glitch I'm talking about. However, this video as well is aimed towards a newer player. However, if you want a quick refresh, keep on watching because honestly, this is one of the most 
best glitches, the most potent kind of glitches for duplication I have found thus far. So what we need to do is we need to run to where we've got some Exocraft. Now, in my case, I've actually got some on the freighter roof itself. For you, though, chances are you'll have it on the planet. So just go down to your planet and go to your Exocraft. Now, once you're at your Exocraft itself, in my case, I need to call it in. If you need to call it in, call it in. Or if it's already there, then that's fantastic. Jump into it and just make sure that it's switched over um, to the primary. Now, you can do it with all the Exocraft. It doesn't matter. You can do it with all of them or you can just do it with one of them. In my case, for today's demonstration, I'm only going to do it with one of them. So, I'm just going to, like, move some rubbish out the road here to make room for my salvage data. Now, there we go. I've got a lot of room there. So, I'm going to now start transferring it through to the Colossus itself. I'm going to absolutely stack it 100% full. Now, once I cannot fill it up to any more here, this will probably be the last one. Fantastic. Now, what we need to do is we're going to end up, jump out, and then we need to run down to our ship, in my case, or run over to your ship if you're on the planet, and you need to jump in, jump out, and that will create an auto save. All right, so there we go. I'm at my ship now. I'm jumping in, jumping out. That's created a save point. Now we need to run all the way back to the Exocraft. So in my case, I need to go back upstairs. In your case, if you're on a planet, you just need to run back to wherever it is you got your Exocraft stored. All righty. So once we're back, we're now going to move everything back over into our Exosuit. We can also put it in the Exosuit high capacity inventory, or we can move it across into our Starship if you have room there. All right. So this is the next step. It's very, very, very important. We're now going to run back downstairs and jump into our ship. However, this time round, we are not going to jump back out. We're just going to fly off. Fly off and then start making your way to the anomaly. So call it in if you don't have it next year already. Um, in my case, I do. I got this out prior. So we're going to quickly go into the anomaly. Now, we're going to do something called a flyby. A flyby is really easy, guys. All you do is fly into the anomaly itself. Get an item ready to transfer. Now, you can only transfer items from your exosuit main part, not the extra storage, or your starship. Once you find someone to transfer over an item to, and it says sent, make sure then you reload your auto save. Now, I do understand that sometimes you can't get someone on the fly in. So you do the same, but flying back out. Don't get out of your ship. Once you land, just fly back out again. Sometimes you can also pass items when you're flying out. If you still don't get anyone, just rinse and repeat. Just fly back in, fly back out until you get somebody. Now, obviously, with crossplay, that's not been so much of an issue, but it can still happen. All right. So here we go. We are back now in our, uh, in our game once we've reloaded. As you can see, I've got all of those juicy salvage daters there. So we need to go now and collect our reward. We need to go up to the Exocraft, in my case, like I said, on top of the roof. All right, guys, look at that. So that's been duplicated. But where it's different now from the personal refiner to that is, the personal refiner, obviously, you can only duplicate so much at any one time, which is like one full stack at a time. Now, if you're like me and got multiple stacks you want to duplicate, this is going to be your best and quickest method to do so. Do this method once or twice and you'll have enough to unlock everything in the game. It's a super powerful way to do it and it saves you so much time in the long run. Alright guys, so I want to thank my wonderful patrons for today's video. I would like to thank Richard Bo, Jeff the Dredge Guy, Captain Z1420, Mr. Dredge, Jilly Dad, Westlands, Alan and our super fan Steve, our super fan Jerry, our super fan John, our super fan Alex. And I was super fan Brian. How amazing is that, guys? Now, I also want to thank my YouTube members as well. I want to thank Kelmia and Frisco Bay Pelican. Thank you so much for joining me over on the YouTube membership side of things. And I'd like to thank all my other members over on Patreon and on YouTube as well. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Now, if you, the viewer, are watching this here today, you like what I do, you want to become part of the YouTube membership family or the Patreon family, you can do so by clicking the we join icon in the bottom right of the page there or you can also click on my patreon which is located guys in the video description down below now with patreon i have exclusive merch with selected tiers that is completely free with your membership ship 
directly to your door and it's fulfilled by patreon it like i said it's completely free and it doesn't cost you a single penny extra within your pledge i mean how amazing is that guys it goes from everywhere between stickers to cups to t-shirts to hoodies and everything else in between now if you are interested again the link for that is in the video description down below all right guys well that's everything from me here today and as always my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one all right, bye for now.